the resolving power of a microscope is proportional to the wavelength used. Okay, um, actually, uh, is actually is inversely proportional. Yeah, uh, what I can say is uh, uh, the resolving power is uh, inversely proportional to the wavelength. Okay, that means to um, the lower the wavelength, the smaller the wavelength, the higher the resolving power. Uh, the higher the resolving power. That means um, you use a smaller wavelength, you can uh, achieve higher resolution of the image. Uh, yeah, can see more details. Okay. Uh, the resolution is approximately this value in meter. If you look at this uh, unit, it's in meter. Yeah, you relate this uh, meter to resolution in order to see uh, see it means see some details yeah see why can see retake details because uh, um, can, why can see details because it has high resolving uh, high resolving power uh, can resolve into two you understand can see details high resolving power so uh, first of all i want to uh, check this what is this in meter? What is it in meter? Ah, so he actually here at the first first thing he already mentioned resolving power. He relate to wavelength. Do you see that? He already re relate resolving power to the wavelength. So this uh, resolution, he's saying this is the resolution, uh, resolution. So this is actually considered resolution is the resolving power. So this one considered to be the wavelength uh, because he already relate the resolution to the wavelength. You see it or not? He already relate the resolution to the wavelength. So this one in meter, in meter. So definitely this one is wavelength. Ah, uh, this one is the wavelength. Ah, uh, understand? So resolution or resolving power is actually uh, the relationship between resolving power and uh, re wavelength. It is inversely proportional. Uh, the smaller the wavelength. The smaller the wavelength, the higher the resolution or the higher the resolving power. Uh, so now the wavelength given is in meter, uh, 1 exponent negative 11, uh, this one. Okay. Now if electron is used, electron microscope, what minimum kinetic energy would be required for the electrons? Okay, so I, the question needs uh, kinetic energy. Okay, so he wants the kinetic energy. You're going to, you are using the electron you are using electrons so you are going to use the uh, mass of electron as also charge of electron all right so um okay electrons okay if you are going to use electron then you use mass of electron what kinetic energy so kinetic energy uh is uh you uh, you also is uh, actually um kinetic of energy of electron is uh, half mv square uh, yeah actually is uh, half mv square uh, actually is half mv square yeah uh, look at this one uh, kinetic energy of electron is actually half mv square or you can change it to momentum square over 2m easy for us to calculate yeah if under momentum easy because de Broglie formula also have momentum uh, if you want to Use half mv square also can, just that it's a bit longer lah. It's a bit longer here. Lambda will become h over mv. Uh, then then uh, you have to uh, here you have to put in the mass of electron here. Here also put mass of electron. Uh, so here you need to put mass of electron. Then you find velocity. Once you find velocity, you put here. Uh, then uh, you can find kinetic energy. Also can. Uh, also can. So which way you prefer? Uh, maybe this time we try to use the H O M V. Yeah, maybe we no need to use the momentum. Now we use the M V. Find the velocity first and then uh, substitute. Also can. Yeah, I use the other way. Previous video, previous video, I use momentum. I use momentum, but this time I use velocity. I as I said, there are two ways of doing this question. You can either use momentum or you can use velocity. Okay, so now I use lambda equal to H over M V. Okay, the de Broglie, de Broglie uh, formula, I can find velocity because wavelength is given, I can find velocity. 
and, and the mass is the mass of electron. Uh, this is the mass of electron. Okay. And then the kinetic energy, I use half mv square. Uh, this one, the mass here also, mass of electron because we are using electron. And velocity is what we waiting for this value to emerge. Okay. Let us calculate now. Yeah, wavelength is one exponent, one exponent negative eleven. Okay, meter, and then um, then h is uh, six point six three exponent negative thirty four, and the mass of electron is nine point one one exponent negative thirty one, and then velocity. Ah, so I calculate. Now I got the velocity equal to. Okay, let's calculate out the velocity. Let's calculate out the velocity. One exponent negative eleven times uh, nine point one one exponent negative thirty one divided by six point six three exponent negative thirty four. Okay. Uh, all right. So what's the answer? This is the velocity is one point three seven four three seven four one. Okay, exponent negative 8. Wow, it's uh, quite small. Okay, um, meter per second. I'm not sure. Uh, no, this is, uh, this is not the velocity yet. This is not the velocity yet. Sorry. Uh, multiply. Uh, mul uh, sorry. Um, did I do it correctly? Yeah, multiply and then I divide multiply and then I divide okay I got that okay uh, but then uh, one divide by answer okay I think this is correct uh, so this is a uh, 7 point uh, two seven 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 <laughs> uh, exponent uh, 367 ah, 7 meter per second ah okay i got the velocity now so now i find the kinetic energy so just use the half mv square so k kinetic energy equal to half mv square use the mass of electron mass of electron is 9.11 exponent negative 31 and then velocity is 7.2777 uh, exponent 7 okay square uh, so what is the kinetic energy so what's the kinetic energy so i'll square this and multiply 9.11 exponent negative 31 divide by 2 yeah that's the answer 2.41 exponent negative 15 negative 15 joule that's the answer uh, is that correct let me check the answer yeah is that correct Yes, that's correct. 2.41 exponent negative 15 joule. Okay. Now, next question. If photons were used, if photons were used, what is the minimum photon energy will be needed to obtain this resolution? Now, if you use your photons, photons, remember, uh, if electrons, we use half mv square. If photons, use hf. Okay. Uh, if electron, it has kinetic energy. If photons light, it has quantum energy. Quant one quantum of light is HF. HF. Okay. Uh, or HC over lambda. Uh, so since this formula already have lambda wavelength, uh, so we can directly find the energy, photon energy. Very easy. So this is a uh, 6.63 exponent negative 34. Okay. And then speed of light. Speed of light is... Uh, 3 exponent 8, 3 exponent 8, and then lambda is, uh, lambda is 1 exponent uh, negative 11. Uh, 1 exponent negative 11. So, uh, what's the answer? Uh, okay, uh, so 6.63 exponent negative 34 multiplied 3 exponent 8 divided by uh, this value, 1 exponent negative 11. And that's the answer. 1.989 exponent uh, negative 14. Ah, Joel, that's the answer. Okay. Uh, so is that correct? 
1.989 exponent negative 14 yeah, 1.989 exponent negative 4 negative 14 is that correct is that correct um 1.989 exponent negative 14 joule is that correct 1.99 exponent negative 14 joule yes that's correct okay and uh, for, uh, the, the question just now also 2.41 exponent negative 14. okay that's correct that's all and let's move on to the next questions